What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Scarlet Karibo and today we are going into the Pokemon TCG for a deck profile of my Pikachu deck. So today the rotation changes. So a lot of these cards are no longer viable to play. So I wanted to immortalize my Pikachu deck, the very first deck I've ever made in Pokemon TCG with a deck profile. We're going to start things off with two copies of Flying Pikachu. This is the main card of the deck. We love this card. Uh, the Fly effect and the Thundershock effect are going to be able to stall your opponent out. So it's very powerful as a basic Pokemon. We want to use this card as much as possible. Same thing with two copies of Surfing Pikachu. This one, it's just a body. It just has 200 HP. You play this out in the beginning just to soak up some damage. Very good early game. The Surf a Power, you're not really going to be using it too much. So this one is just to soak up damage. As well as one copy of Pikachu and Pals. This one is only here because of the art. The art is really cool and they can adventure together. Thing with Adventure Together, it takes three electric energy. You're not really ever going to use it, but it completes the set of the full art Pikachus. Moving forward, we are going to use one copy of Pichu. Pichu is pretty cool. He's got the baby evolution. You can summon out Pichu early game, he'll soak up some damage, Baby Evolution will heal him out. As well, Electric Circuit, if you have it late game, will be able to s recycle four of your basic energies. So if you have a bunch of basic energy in your graveyard, you can use Electric Circuit, you don't even need an energy on Pichu, and you can cycle back up to four of them. Very powerful recycling card. Moving forward, we are going to use four copies of Pikachu. So. This is the main title card of the deck. Having four copies of Pikachu is really important. They help with the stalling, especially some of them have uh, the Tail Whip or the Thunder Jolt to be able to paralyze or stop your opponent from playing. It's a stall deck. That's what the electricity strategy is gonna be. So we have four copies of Pikachu, as well as two copies of Raichu. Raichu is also really good. You're also going to be able to summon it on top of your Pikachus. Very powerful card. So that's the title of the deck, all the Pikachus. But that's not all we have. We need some support. So we're going to use four copies of Mareep. For those of you who do not know, my name is Jason Lamb, so I love Mareep. He is the cutest little tiny lamb. I love him so much. The ability Fluffy Pillow is really overpowered. It's another stall ability. So Mareep is going to be an easy four of in the deck. We also use three copies of Flaffy. Flaffy is going to evolve from our Mareep naturally as well as one copy of Ampharos EX. This is going to be the title card of the structure deck. This is where I base the deck on, and Ampharos is going to be a very powerful card. 300 HP is going to make sure that it stays on the field, and its ability Thunderstrike Tail can hit for almost 240 damage consistently. So, very powerful card. To fill out some of the basics, I like to use Legendaries. So we're going to use two copies of Zekrom, and to pair it off, we're going to use one copy of Reshiram. They have some synergy. White Thunder does an additional 80 damage as long as you have Reshiram in the bench. Very powerful card. We're going to move on with one Zapdos, one Miraidon. These cards are also pretty good. Lightning symbol of the ability while it's in the back row. All of your lightning attacks are going to be able to do one extra damage counter. Not very powerful, but it's pretty cool. As well as Lightning Laser, when you do an attack, you're going to be able to put three damage counters on one of your opponent's uh, benched Pokemon. Very cool. And to pair with our Miraidon basic, we got one Miraidon EX. The ability tandem unit is really powerful, helps cycle out a lot of the basic energies and basic Pokemon, so it's going to be really good to use Miraidon. Moving forward, let's get into the items. I like to use two Nest Balls. We got a lot of basic Pokemon in this deck, so it's going to be able to search them out. Two Ultra Balls. You get to discard two, two bricks usually, and then you get to search out basically whatever you want. We're going to use two copies of Switch, Switch is really powerful, as well as two copies of Energy Retrieval. Now you can swap these cards out with a lot of different staples. I've been trying out Boss's Orders, I think Switch is going to be a little bit more adaptable for us. And then using all the different kinds of Pokeballs is going to be great for searching. I also use one copy of Experience Share, a Poke Tool is really cool. When this one's equipped to a Pokemon and it gets destroyed, you get to take one of the basic energies that are attached to it and stuff it onto another Pokemon. Really powerful. Moving forward, we are going to use three copies of Professor's Research. It's a really powerful consistency card. You ditch your whole hand, and then you get to draw seven. Very powerful card, and it has a reprint, so I think we're going to be able to continue using it moving forward. We have three copies of Nimona. Nimona's really cool. You get to draw three cards, so we like grabbing Nimona. We have three copies of Youngster. Similar to the Professor's Research, you shuffle your entire hand, and you get to draw five. 
So, the thing with these supporter cards, all these trainer cards, you can only use once per turn. But the thing is, Professor's Research and Youngster, if you only have one card in your hand, you can then shuffle or discard it and you can draw a whole new hand. So they're going to be really powerful consistency cards. As well as one copy of Jacques, one copy of Clavel, and one copy of Grusha. They all have different consistency effects to help out with the deck. So, last thing. We are going to go with the extra deck. First things first, I got two copies of Basic Energy, as well as a playset. Four copies of Basic Energy. We're going to go with one copy of Basic Energy, as well as another pair of Basic Energies. Lastly, I like to use a full playset, all four, of Basic Energy. So, that's going to be the Pikachu deck profile. Pikachu Stall is what I've dubbed it. I love this deck. It's the first introduction that I had to the Pokemon TCG. I played a long, long time ago when I was a little kid. So it was a lot of fun to be able to revisit it. Seeing all of the new Pokemon and seeing how they actually interact is really cool. And making a deck based on Pikachu, I don't know, there's just something really happy about it. So that's the deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, have you ever played the Pokemon TCG? If you did, would you ever play a Pikachu deck? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm the Scarlet Karibo. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.